Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh Hello everyone, wherever you are, welcome to my presentation with me Mr. Fikri In this presentation video, I will explain to you about my teaching scenario regarding literary works Therefore, I will provide you one example of fiction literary work, which is fable story Well, let's get started Alright, as I said in the previous, I will present you a fable story. Based on my teaching scenario, the teacher will ask the students to play the video by Aesop under the title The Lion and the Mouse in the beginning of class. And after that, the students will be asked to pay attention or notice how they feel referring the fable story and focus on uh, the vocabulary used, which is displayed on this video. The link of the video will be provided on this uh, teaching scenario, or the teacher might share it directly to the students. Well, let's move on to the next slide. And after watching the video, there are several uh, instructions or activities that the students and the teacher should be implemented in the class. The first one is explain. The teacher explain what the story is about to students by using simple terms to help them understand. The second one, ask the class how did you feel watching this fable story? Thirdly, ask question to the class, what was the moral value? And then explain what you think is the uh, moral value based on the video. And finally, students uh, need to focus on the vocabulary use, which is displayed on the video. and. They need to find the synonym for each vocabulary. Uh, based on this teaching scenario, there are several approach that teacher use or implemented definitely. And later, uh, I will elaborate to you uh, several approach in that uh, teaching scenario one by one. Well, exactly, uh, there are four approach that include in in this teaching scenario first of all is paraphrastic approach why this approach is employed in uh, in this teaching scenario because the teacher will be asked to retell or explain the story by using simple terms the teacher uh, will make sure that the students avoid wrong information or misunderstand what the story is about because the teacher retell the story by using simple terms or own word it means uh, the approach that implemented in this uh, teaching scenario will be paraphrastic approach secondly we have personal response approach the teacher uh, will ask the class about their feeling after watching the video. For example, uh, from this teaching scenario, the teacher might ask, how did you feel watching this fable story? And after the teacher asking, the teacher hopes that the students can give feedback or response uh, directly regarding the question about their personal feeling. Because the students is asked to give a response or about their personal feeling, it means uh, the teacher need their personal feeling, uh, personal feeling. So I think the approach that implemented this in this uh, teaching scenario will be personal response. Thirdly, we have information based approach. Based on the teaching scenario, the teacher uh, will question 
to check students' knowledge based on what they have understood from the video. The teacher tried to explore the student's uh, understanding. So I think the approach they implemented in this uh, teaching uh, scenario will be information based. Then the last but not the least, we have language based approach. Based on this teaching uh, scenario, the teacher will set language activities such as looking for the synonym of vocabulary and also the teacher tried to encourage the students to actively participate in the process of understanding the meaning of vocabulary. It means this activity is focused on the language use. So the approach, I think, will be language-based. So I think that's all about my presentation. Uh, I hope it can be useful for all of you. Thanks for your attention. The last I say, wassalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.